going to go over replacing the intake camshaft sensor which is a common key code of P0344 which is circuit A and that would be an intake camshaft sensor fault on an M52TU, an M54 or an M56 engine. This could be on a 5 series or a 3 series. Um, this is actually for a subscriber that has a E39530i with the P0344 fault. And that is for circuit A. Circuit A is for the intake. Now the intake sensor is located down here underneath the solenoid for the Vanos. So there's some things you have to take out. Plus the wiring runs down by the throttle. So we're going to have to do that. The exhaust is actually the most simple to replace because it's right in that, uh, it's right down here. And I will be going over that as well. But let's start with the harder one with the intake sensor. Now it's nice to clear some of these things out of your way. This is the intake snorkel. They do have little plastic pop rivets, which I already have off just to make things go a little bit faster here. So I'm just going to pop that off and put that down. And you need to take the air box out anyway. So that's going to be my next step. So I have these two screws out here. That's a 10 millimeter. You have to loosen up the clamp right here. This is the mass airflow sensor. Just press down, unclip that, and take my air box right out. All right, with the air box out, you need to reach down and get the wire end that goes to the harness for that camshaft sensor. And let me zoom in on that. And that's right below the intake right there which is where it plugs right into like a box which is like uh, all part of the harness and there's the tab that you press down on to release so just have to press down on that tab and it slides outwards okay this is the connector end here Now that runs underneath the intake somewhat, but a lot of times you can actually just fish this through. Now this end doesn't have the push pin on it, so that just locks into place when you reinstall it into the harness right here. So I'm going to just leave that and uh, go after the sensor now. Now when I do this intake camshaft sensor, I like to remove the oil filter cap. This is a 36 millimeter for the top. Mine's loose enough that I can twist it by hand. So I'm just going to take this off. Now let it vent for a bit. You can open up the cap too to let that vent. Basically the oil is going to uh, drop to the bottom so that when you open this up the rest of the way you're not going to have oil overflow. You just have to give it a couple of seconds to drain down. actually heard it gurgle there. Okay, I'll lift that up and just put that aside. Now I like to take a shop towel and put it over the top so you don't drop anything into the oil filter housing into the engine. The next step is to remove this pipe right here which goes to the cyclone separator using a pick.
pry outwards and wiggle it back on each side. Mine's actually broken. This ring is usually not broken. So just take, a, take your time and work that free. If you pull back too hard, you can crack this. You do have to take the solenoid off. I have a video for that separately. Press down on the lock, take that out. And I just go faster for this part. Use a pair of vice grips, makes it easier. Lock it down, tap it. Unscrew the solenoid. Okay, put that aside. And that gives me access to the sensor. I'm going to zoom in on the sensor so you can get a better look. There's the sensor right there. It's held on by that uh, one bolt right here. And that should be a 5mm Allen, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 5mm. Now, with the cap here, I wouldn't be able to uh, ratchet easier, so it's nice to take that oil filter cap out of your way so you can access that a lot easier. right there. I'm going to now just wiggle that free. A lot of times, yep, there it is. Came right out. Now there is an O-ring in there as well. There we go. Just had to work it around this Vanos oil feed line. Now the O-ring did not come with the sensor, it stayed in the cylinder head. So I just have to use a pick and take that O-ring out. There it is. There's the O-ring. Put that aside. Now that the sensor is disconnected, just have to work the harness up through. And there's the old sensor right here. It's three pin. That's the pickup. Now there's nothing wrong with this sensor, so I'm going to reinstall it and just go over the installation steps. With the new sensor, you're going to have an O ring, and it's going to come with a new O ring. But put a little bit of white lithium grease on that going to help you install it. Now you could route the wiring first and you really just have to tuck it under. You don't even have to go the exact same route. This does go underneath the Vanos line, which then you got to fish it out a little bit. But you can just tuck it in just like this and then run it down this way right here. Take the new sensor, just install that. Rock it back and forth, and then you just have to line up the installation hole. Just make sure you're careful not to strip out those threads when you install. So I have this going this way. I'm going to run this down here. Okay, here's my line. I'm going to just run it underneath here and towards the back. You don't have to route it exactly how it was, you just have to get it to where you can install it into the harness. You can only install it one way. Press that down, push it in, locks in place. 
There it is right there. And basically at this point it's just reverse installation. When installing the bolt, make sure to just eyeball so that the holes line up and always start it by hand just in case the threads are a little messed up. So make sure it goes in by hand, nice and easy. Once, you're, once you've started a few threads and you know you're good, you can go ahead and tighten it up the rest of the way. This is not tight and very tight. It's just very gently snug it down. That's it. If you over tighten this, you break it, and hopefully you can get the end out of the cylinder head. So there, just a slight quarter turn. I'm using a bit setup, so that slid out on me, but no big deal. All right, so that installation's good there. Oops. Okay. Next, I'm going to put my vanilla solenoid back on. Snug that down. Okay, install the plug. All right, install your hopefully not broken line for the cyclone. All right, there's that line, the wire basically for that sensor. I'm just going to tuck that underneath the oil filter housing. It's another gasket that's common that leaks on these oil filter housing gasket. And then just go ahead and tighten down your oil filter. I forgot my 36 at work, so I'm just going to tighten this up by hand. Right, basically done. And just have to install your air box, which is pretty straightforward. All right, install the air box. And don't forget to plug in your mass airflow sensor. I guess I can pop that on real quick. This routes, this goes underneath. This goes under here. Put that there. Air box is going to sit in a specific spot. Put that on. Don't forget to tighten down the clamp that you've loosened, and then install your snorkel, clear your fall code, and you should be good to go. Make sure to start the engine two times because on the second time after you clear the code, the first start, it doesn't necessarily give you a check engine light if you still have a problem. On the second start will be when your check engine light will come on. Now if it does come back on, you might have a problem with your engine control unit, or your Vanos unit, or the pickup, which obviously is going to be more involved. But uh, I will be making a video on the Vanos on an M52. See you in an M54. Thanks for watching everybody.